provide X Factor fame into becoming a boy band music sensation with One Direction, delivering five immensely successful studio albums and songs like Best Song Ever and Story of My Life. So what are you doing here Sorry. today? Um, well, I've always wanted to audition, but I've always been too young. Okay. All right, what are you going to sing? I'll do Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder. Okay, good luck. Before Harry Styles would transition into an acting career, appearing in Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk as an allied soldier named Alex and would currently be filming Don't Worry Darling. Hey! Where are we? Siding! We we're pulling in in a minute. What station? Woking! Grab me one of them papers. Before Harry Styles would bump up his net worth to a reported $63 million and be rich in clout with over 30 million Instagram followers at the time of this recording. Have you guys ever heard of Six Degrees of Separation? It's a belief that everyone is connected to every person on earth by at most six people. I know firsthand that I'm one person away from Harry Styles because he hit on a friend of mine named Azzy Land. She actually used to work here before they were famous with Michael. Hey, it's a small world, and maybe he wasn't hitting on her. Maybe he was just trying to borrow a dress based on his most recent headline-making photo shoot. Let's move on and start talking about Harry's come up from X Factor reject to One Direction superstardom. Young Harry's childhood was far from privileged, but he always had plans to make it one way or another. What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Azalea Hart, back at it again with a brand new before they're famous on the one and only Harry Styles. It's been a minute since we featured any pop stars here on this channel, but with Harry making a big comeback and making a global news with his new music and new interest in cross-dressing, he's been hitting us with some new Harry Styles. We decided to hit you guys with an update, so be sure to let us know who to feature next in the comments down below. Follow me over on Instagram, and I'll see you after the intro. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Harry Edward Styles was born on February 1st, 1994 in Bromsgrove, Worcestershire in the West Midlands region of England. His parents, Des and Anne, divorced when he was seven years old. He and his sister, Gemma, were brought up by their mother in the town of Holmes Chapel in Cheshire. I think that's Cheshire. His mother was later remarried to a man named Robin Twist, who in 2017 tragically passed away. You can see him alongside Harry on his pre-X Factor interview. People tell me that I'm a good singer, it's usually my mum. So, and they always say that, don't they? Harry attended Holmes Chapel Comprehensive School, where he and three of his friends formed a band called White Eskimo. Harry, of course, was the lead singer, and the band was popular enough to win a band competition at their school. <laughs> After school and on the weekends, Harry worked at the W. Mandeville Bakery in Holmes Chapel and apparently was no stranger to shoveling. I used to work in the stables. That's what I yeah, mean. Yeah, okay. yeah. Really? Me too, me too. I used to muck out. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this is, yeah. I'm not even... Miniature ponies don't make miniature poo, though, which is no, what, same people, size what poo. most people think. I'm not sure what kind of bakery has horse poop outside, but I guess that's the British countryside for you. In 2010, when Harry was 16 years old, he competed in the seventh season of the television show The X Factor, singing Stevie Wonder's Isn't She Lovely as his audition song, and then Oasis's Stop Crying Your Heart Out in the later round. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? For 16 years old, you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. I think you're so young, I don't think you have enough experience or confidence yet. I don't think they booed you loud enough there. I'm going to be agreeing with Nicole. You're through. Thank you. Although he clearly showed a ton of star power, he was cut before the finals and sent home, or so we were left to believe. In a surprise mood, judges Nicole Scherzinger and Simon Cowell put him together with fellow competitors Niall Horan, Liam Payne, Lewis Tomlinson, and Zayn Malik to form a new group act for the remainder of the competition. We've thought of each of you as individuals, and we just feel that you're too talented to let go of. We've decided to put you both through the judges. Performing as One Direction, a name reportedly suggested by Styles, the five boys became one of the most popular contenders in the X Factor Finals that season. Boys, I think potentially you could be the next big boy band, but you have a lot of work to do, you know. I reckon the girls at home will be going crazy for you, but you do need a little bit more time to develop as a group, that's all, just a little bit more time. 
Although they finished the competition in third place, they were immediately assigned to Cowell's Psycho Music Label. You might be asking who finished ahead of them. Well, it was Rebecca Ferguson in second and Matt Cardell in the first place. Yeah, I haven't heard of them either. During the filming of the show, Harry began dating television presenter Caroline Flack. Harry was 17 at the time and Flack was 32, which resulted in tabloid reports on the young star early on. It was suggested uh, that you were, you. you were being linked with a slightly older lady during the week. Uh, okay. The, the uh, extra factors, uh, Caroline Flack. Yeah, we're just really good friends. We just get on so well. So she's, she's a really nice, nice person, so we get on really well. So you're just, just good friends. Who knows? Good. We'll see what happens. Okay, you see... He would then go on to date a number of other big names, including models Emma Ostley and Cara Delvine, and singers Rita Ora, and most notably, Taylor Swift. I think about what it means to me to write a song about somebody else. And for someone else to do that, uh, I think it's like a, you know, it's like flattering. Even if the song isn't that flattering. So he calls me up and he's like, I still love you. His love life was clearly red hot, but so was One Direction. The band's first single, What Makes You Beautiful, which was released on September 2011 in the United Kingdom. One Direction's debut album, Up All Night, was a bestseller in both the United Kingdom and the United States the following year. In another highlight of 2012, Styles and the rest of One Direction performed at the Olympics clothing ceremony in London. Styles went on to enjoy immense success with his bandmates. One Direction following up all night with Take Me Home in 2012, Midnight Memories in 2013, and Four in 2014, all debuting at number one on the Billboard 200. The group's final album, Made in the AM, just missed the cut by arriving at number two in 2015 before the band split for a lengthy hiatus and Zayn Malik would then call it quits. It was hard, you know? Part of it was, it was kind of like we were sad someone had left, but also sad that he was so, he was not enjoying it so much that he had to leave. In the time since Harry has tried his hand at acting and launched his own record label, Erskine Records, he then signed a recording contract with Columbia Records as a solo artist in 2017. In 2018, he began modeling for the Italian fashion house Gucci and appeared in several campaigns for the brand. He dropped his second solo studio album in 2019, Fine Line, and had everyone singing Watermelon Sugar for the summer of 2020. As for the rest of Harry's story, well, I guess we'll have to ask Azzy, because from what I heard, the two really hit it off. I'm just joking, blame Michael. I'm gonna wrap up this video here, but be sure to let us know who to feature in a future video, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you, because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists, like, over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!